What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another video. Today is going to be episode two of Delisted Diamonds. Specifically, we're going to be talking about Forza Motorsport 7. This game is going to be delisted after today. So today is going to be the last day that you guys can purchase this game digitally. However, this game does have a physical copy. So after today, this will just be one of those delisted diamonds where the only way to play it will be to purchase a physical copy of the game. But again, if you want to purchase it digitally, today is the last day that you could do so. They actually announced this delisting a couple weeks ago before I started the delisted diamond series. And they've had the game on sale ever since. But yeah, if you want to pick it up digitally before it's delisted, it's only $9.99. And I'll have a link down in the description below. Aside from that, let's go ahead and talk achievements because this game does have some online achievements. A matter of fact, 13 of the achievements are related to being online and the servers are not going to shut down when this game is delisted. However, the game before this, Forza Motorsport 6, actually has three unobtainable achievements that are all related to playing online, specifically in league events. The good thing is, is that Forza Motorsport 7 doesn't have any of these league event achievements, so it's looking like there won't be any unobtainables after it's delisted. The only chance that there would be is if they took the store down where you can upload your custom tune or designs, because we do have achievements related to uploading custom tunes and designs. A matter of fact, four of them are related to doing so. For uploading your first tune as well as design, not only that, but getting 50,000 credits from those tunes and designs in the online marketplace. Basically for people downloading and using your tune and designs. But yeah, in terms of achievements, it's not looking like there's going to be any unobtainables after the delisting. Those four achievements are really the only ones that have a small chance of being unobtainable after, but it's looking like they're not going to be. So cross your fingers that we don't end up with any unobtainables in Forza Motorsport 7, at least until the servers go down. But Again, the servers are still going to be up. They just have to delist the game because a lot of these license deals that they have for the music as well as the cars only last four years. So once a Forza game has been out for four years, typically it is delisted. Next, I want to talk about DLC. So this game has a ton of DLC or car packs. Luckily, this game didn't get any additional achievements related to the DLC. So even though the DLC won't be available after today, um, luckily there's no achievements related to the DLC so you'll still be able to get the full 1000 G and still have the full 100% in the game because this is one of those rare Forza games where they didn't add any achievements because most of the time when the Forza game gets delisted it gets delisted with the DLC and then you know the DLC has achievements that you can't get anymore but that's not the case with Forza Motorsport 7 it simply has 1000 gamer score no gamer score for the DLC but the DLC is going to be delisted if you're interested in using it. Aside from that, the achievements are definitely challenging. By no means is this an easy completion. True Achievements estimates that it takes about 120 to 150 hours to get the full 1000 gamer score in this game. Now, I went ahead and checked out the achievements to see which achievement was the rarest or had the least amount of people unlock it, and that was one of the online achievements which can be boosted, it's just kind of hard to get 24 people together in a boost session, and that's why it's so rare. There is an achievement related to playing a race online with 24 different people. But yeah guys, that's pretty much going to cover everything that I wanted to tell you in this episode of Delisted Diamonds. First and foremost, I just wanted to give you guys a D-list warning that today is going to be the last day that you can purchase the game. I also wanted to let you guys know that this delisted diamond is still available physically, so if you're interested in playing the game or getting the achievements, you still can purchase a physical copy of the game and play it that way. Aside from that, I wanted to go over the achievements and potentially the unobtainables after the delisting, which we did. And then finally, I wanted to talk about the DLC as well as achievements related to the DLC, which luckily there are none, so we're not going to end up in a situation where we can't get any DLC related achievements because again there's only that 1000 gamer score. And so yeah, that's going to cover all of the topics in terms of a delisted diamond. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 16 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including Tim G84, AOJ, Kegger 101, Kana 25, 
Michael Banksa in Purple Rain 6. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.